What's going on all you gamers? Today we're going to be going over a little bit more Rainbow Six Extraction. And what we're going to bring to you today is who the best operators are in order for you to play solo. So if you're looking for someone that can really, really do the job on their own or in a team, then stay tuned. That's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls, as always, for things gaming, for things Xbox, then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon? I'll be bringing you all the latest and greatest content, hints, tips, guides and builds, and just some fun gameplay and of course reviews of upcoming games like Elden Ring and Dying Light 2. But for the moment, what we're going to be covering is my top 5 picks for the best operators to be playing this game solo. Now, in general, Rainbow Six Extraction can be quite an unforgiving game, so making sure you've got a character that can really help you on your way and make sure he's got a talent that's really useful, especially in solo, can be the difference between Fallen Nova or completing those missions. So the first one we're going to kick it off with, and it's going to be Alibi. Alibi is a little bit, I think, of an underrated operator. She can do an absolute abundance of damage, she gets quite a nice little arsenal about her, her starting weapon's not bad in the MX Storm, and she gets a nice LMG later on. Although I'd say it's probably not the best one out there, it does definitely still do the job. She's also got a pretty tasty shotgun that does some crazy damage on it, so overall her arsenal is pretty respectable. She's definitely got one of the better skills in the game, Basically it's going to create a copy of yourself and it's going to mean that you get quite a bit of distraction going on and you're able to take foes down a lot easier than you would have been able to. She has pretty decent speed about herself which I find is quite good for operators to have. The slower tends to be a little bit tougher to use in missions most times. And at late game she manages to have 4 decoys and they recharge on 60 second cooldown. Recharge is always great because if you can't manage to pick up any ability boxes you're still going to be able to get them back in some way. Also another great thing about Alibi at advancement level 7, her Prisma drone ability is going to upgrade and you'll be able to put a decoy and deploy it on a react drone, meaning you can kind of wheel it around and just lure enemies over towards yourself or lure them away from yourself. It can be a lot of fun, it can make things a lot easier and it can mean that you can stealth around just because you've lured things completely the other side of the map. It's completely up to you, it's definitely a very unique skill that can help you out in abundance. Next up and we have Ella. Ella is just an amazing pick all round. Solo, in a group, whatever you want to do, she is just an amazing operator. She starts off with one of the better guns, a Scorpion Evo A1, which has a 40 mag capacity. And although it's not the most damage, it really does help you out at the start, especially if you don't like to reload. Just make sure you're hitting those weak points and this gun's a lot of lifesaver, although probably not the most accurate in the game. Later on, she'll be able to get a semi-automatic shotgun and of course another LMG. All over, she has a great arsenal and she's just really good to use. Her skill is also top tier. So her ability is Grismot Mines. These are mines that basically act very similar to stun grenades. And as you progress, not only do they go up to a count of four, they also have a regen of 60 seconds and they have a 10 second stun duration. The time is absolutely massive and you can quite easily get multiple kills with this if you're using them correctly. Ella is just a great all round operator to use and one of the best ones in the game. So you could definitely do a lot worse than using her if you want to go in, be a bit stealthy and get yourself a lot of takedown kills. Next up and we have IQ. Again, she just has pretty much everything you need at her disposal. Later on, she's going to unlock a really, really nice LMG. Again, at later advancement levels, she gets really, really fast movement speed, which is just amazing in this game with her speed 5 upgrade. And I would say she probably gets one of the best weapon selections overall in the game. Starting off with an AUG, she can unlock an MA-70 shotgun, which is one of the best ones out there. Then she can also grab a commando rifle, again one of the top tier ones. And last but definitely not least, she can grab that all-important LMG. She's definitely one operator to watch out for. Because of her advancement at 5, she gets an extra 3 mags for each. Meaning running out of bullets is definitely going to be a thing of the past with her. But another great thing about her is you'll know where all of the react equipment is throughout the map with her ability Red Mark IV Spectre. When you use it, it's kind of like a scanner on her arm. What you're going to do is take it out, have a little look through, and you'll be able to see all of the React equipment. That way you can head towards them and load yourself up, making things a lot easier for yourself. At later tiers of advancement, she can also upgrade this, and it now senses any apexes and any proteons while she's using her ability, even if they're cloaked. 
This can be massive, one of the best all-round operators in the game. Next up, and we have Doc. Doc, I would say, is one of the most underrated operators in this game. His ability is top-notch, and one that you shouldn't take too lightly. Getting hit in this game definitely happens from time to time. Unless you are amazing, you're going to get tapped. You're going to lose a little bit of health and having the ability to regen it is just exceptional. This guy right here is definitely the best of the healers for solo and he's also amazing in a team. The reason for that is because of his health shots. He's going to fire a stim pistol to heal you or revive himself or his damned allies. Being able to revive and being able to heal is just massive in this game. At later tiers, he's going to be able to hit 5 times with that booster, and it's going to be able to give 30 for each time. Meaning he can dish it out quite nicely to a team, and of course you're going to want to be trying to grab those ability packs in order to recharge them again. Don't forget, like I said, he can also revive himself. If he goes down, click the ability button, he's going to use his stabilize ability, and he's going to revive himself. He's an absolutely amazing operator for early game all the way to late game in a team or a solo. The only thing I would say, at the start you might want to level him up a bit before going too far in difficulty levels because his starter weapons aren't the best. He starts off with a shotgun that doesn't have a silencer, so you're probably going to want to make sure you've got a silencer on your pistol and then advance in a few more levels where he get himself quite a nice gun in the P90 submachine gun or the HK417 semi-auto marksman rifle. I actually really like the marksman rifle, so all in all, late game he's just amazing. Last but definitely not least, and we have Vigil. Vigil is the stealthiest of any character in the game. His ability is just, I would say, pretty overpowered and just amazing for anyone who's solo. Also, at later advancement levels, just ridiculously good in a team. The arsenal he starts out with is a K1A, which I really like. It's kind of a mixture between a submachine gun and an assault rifle. Or he gets a very heavy hitting but slow firing Boss G shotgun, and last but not least, he gets an MK14. His ability is called the ERC8 Disruptor. Not easy thing to roll off the tongue, but it is definitely worth using. Disrupts enemies, making him undetectable for a short duration. Can be used again after a cooldown. This one you can use more than any ability on any other operator in the game. It gives you a 15 seconds duration of being completely undetectable. If you want to walk behind a smasher and absolutely pummel him, you very well can. If you want to take down pretty much everything in the game that can be killed with a takedown, again you can. It's only on a 15 second cooldown and with his maxed out speed, you can quite easily make it into a situation or away from a situation depending on how you want to play the scenario. Overall, if you pair this guy with the right kind of setup, say for example paralysis grenades, he can quite easily take down pretty much anything in the game, and then cloak himself and walk off scot-free. Also, at tier 10 of his advancement, he's going to give teammates that cloak as well as long as they're really close to him, and he's going to increase their speed to 4. He is just an amazing operator to play solo or in a team because of his speed, his viability and the fact that he can pretty much get in and out without being seen as long as you're playing it clever. If you didn't want to use paralysis grenades, another thing you may want to try on him is something like a recon drone, that way you can scout out everything, get your takedowns, not have to worry about anything, that along with his ability and his speed and of course his paralysis grenades if you take them, make him an operator to not be trifled with. Overall, he's the operator that I would say is probably the best at the moment to play solo, but all of these can definitely be worked into a team, or you can play with them solo because they are just pretty top tier. Also lastly, two noteworthy mentions will definitely be Pulse and of course Lion, both of which are able to scan the environment or enemies and can make things a little bit easier like I said for that solo play. If you want to take out Ness fast, then Pulse is your go-to guy. If you'd rather be able to ping some enemies to know where they are, then Lion would be a top pick. But if you notice for the tech recommendations, most of the time I was going with similar style of ones, and that's because I find the XR Recon drone is absolutely top tier and can really help you to scout out the environment, perfect for that single player. The explosive harness is going to mean that you'll start off with three additional grenades, but every single time you pick up that grenade tech during your mission, you're also going to get an extra three each time. On some occasions, if you've got the gear up perk as your perk 5, you're going to pick up an additional 7 every time you pick them up during your mission, meaning you can easily get over 20 or 30 plus with the right grenade equipped can make levels much easier. 
And other than that, you're going to go for grenades that help you to get in, get out or do some takedowns. Early game would be smoke, mid game would probably be your stun grenades and finally if you have unlocked that fourth tech tier I would probably go for paralysis grenades. But overall like I said all of these operators are just amazing and then you just kind of got to adapt your tech to how their playstyle was. As always gamers, for all things gaming, for all things Xbox. Take care, I'll see you on the next day.